Now to the coronavirus as the state closes in on an ominous milestone. When the new numbers are released later today, Florida will most assuredly pass the 1 million mark when it comes to positive tests. Right now, that number stands at over 999,000. After the health department reported another 6,600 cases yesterday, a little over 1,000 of those cases were from Central Florida. And for the first time in weeks, Governor DeSantis addressed the current situation in the state yesterday, acknowledging the increase in people testing positive, but also also saying things are still better than many other parts of the country. We've seen cases increase, but look at all the other states that have seen it increase way, way more. And so I hear people say, oh, well, Florida is open and they're having increased cases. Well, okay, the states that are locked down are increasing at twice the rate we are. So I just think people should put it in perspective. Overall, Florida's case count and new hospitalizations were down last week, but Florida also reported another 525 new deaths from the virus. That number was up over 17 percent from the week before. And with the concern over increasing coronavirus cases comes a new effort to make sure businesses are keeping everyone safe. Orange County Mayor Jerry Demings announcing he's moving forward with an order that will fine business owners for not following guidelines. Mark Lehman is following the new developments this morning. So, Mark, the mayor is saying that this move is legal. Yeah, earlier this year, the governor issued an order prohibiting COVID-19 related fines on individuals, but it does not specifically ban penalties on businesses. It's something the mayor says is now needed for owners who continue to break the rules. During Orange County's briefing on Monday, Mayor Jerry Deming said he'll be drafting an order to impose fines on businesses that haven't been following guidelines to stop the spread of coronavirus. It comes after the county's strike team has found little compliance at places they visited. Images and videos also surfaced on social media last month showing a couple bars and nightclubs with people crowded inside and not wearing masks. Deming's saying the fines are something he's been considering for weeks and would be targeted towards repeat offenders. This would apply to businesses uh, that uh, are habitual violators. If we have a few bad actors, that's who we'll be targeting. Now, since the penalties will be on businesses and not individuals, it appears Demings has the authority to collect the fines. But this is also something that could end up being challenged in court. As for when this will first happen, there's no timetable at this point. Demings says he'll be finalizing his decision this week, but he did not give specifics on dollar amounts or how the fines will be imposed. Kirsten.